Hello dudes. Welcome to TechTed.com, a free learning and sharing environment. My name is Pritam and I am going to guide you through this course which is on database management system. So let's have an overview of this course. Let's understand what happened just now with you. Okay, you came online to study on TechTed.com and you made a request with the URL through the browser. So the URL went, I mean the request went to the server and server responded you with the page, right? Not exactly. This is not what exactly happens. What happens is when you made a request, it goes to the server. This is just a server where the code is hosted. It means where the business logic is hosted, all the codes. But this server doesn't have data or it has it may have data but this not much data generally in this case or especially for this detector.com so what happens is this server again make a request to another server which is our database server now this database server returns the data to the server and again th this business logic server returns you the page using this uh, data which has been returned by database server and renders it in form of page and it returns you through the browser so this is our concentration this database is our whole concentration in this course so this is the overview basically we will be uh, following gate syllabus but this is uh, entire overview of this course first we will be starting with introduction of database system where we will understand what is database what is a database management system few basic definitions which will be useful throughout the course next we will be un uh, covering ER diagram or ER model which is uh, basically the real world presentation or representation uh, on paper so through the entity and the relationship among among entity we try to model our database on paper and from this model we generally design the actual database system or our tables and all next we will be covering relational database model in which we will be covering various relationship among the tables and inside the table itself then uh, various level of normalization etc next we will be covering database design where we will try to design a database through uh, from given uh, scenario after that we will be covering sql sql for uh, is structured query language it is used to interact with the database as we said here uh, just I explained like we have a business logic server and we have a database server right so this business logic server interact with the database server so this is done through this SQL next is transaction management a transaction is a smallest atomic unit of work so we have to manage this transaction because various transaction will be going on so we have to ensure asset property Afterwards, we will be understanding the concurrency control like on a particular database system at the time or at, at a moment, various transactions can go on. So how we will ensure the consistency among the data or how we will ensure the correctness. Next is file structure. File structure is basically what we see database is as a table but it's not what actually it is as to stored in the uh, system so we will be understanding how we actually store the database on physical level and at the end we will be understanding the indexing like like how we uh, made the access faster and faster okay using the indexing system so this is the entire overview of this course and uh, throughout this course we will be covering the entire uh, various gate questions which has been asked previously and we will be covering new questions also so I hope you will be enjoying this course and you will be enjoying learning database management system so see you in the next lecture thank you